Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my makeup for you guys with some new products that I picked out. Uh, also, I'm going to talk about a couple of hair products that I got last week and tried out and I will just kind of give you my thoughts on those. So, uh, if you guys haven't already, it would be so wonderful if you could subscribe to my channel and if you would like to hear my thoughts on the Joico hair products that I picked out and also see the uh, makeup that I picked out and how I got this look and a couple outfit of the days as well at the end, then just keep watching. So before I get into doing my makeup, I'm just gonna quickly touch on the two products that I picked up last week when I went out. I got the Hydra Splash, they're both Hydra Splash, uh, replenishing leave-in for fine and medium dry hair and also the hydrating jelly mask for fine and medium dry hair. So with the jelly mask, I find uh, the consistency is quite slippery. Um, it doesn't feel like your typical deep conditioning treatment. Your hair feels really, um, really slippery in the shower. And I found that after using it, I didn't need to spray any leave-in in my hair. It combed out so smoothly, so it's almost like it leaves some kind of protection over the hair, which I love because my ends are so dry and your hair gets to a point that there's nothing really that's going to repair that dry split end. Um, it either needs to be trimmed or you just need to protect it. So I love the way it feels in my hair. It feels like it's adding some sort of protection to the ends. And with the Hydra Splash, replenishing leave-in, I feel like that has the same effect. Um, it's a more, it's a cream as opposed to like an oil or a serum and has a really nice um, smell to it. And I feel like just being a cream, it, it gets deeper into the hair. Like it just, there's more protection to it. When I left my hair to dry overnight, um, it didn't feel so frizzy at the end. So that's one of the things that it helps with. I just feel like my hair feels a little bit shinier and smoother. I don't think it's repairing the damage, but I do think it's doing a better job of protecting. So I'm really, really happy with those two new products. And then with the makeup, so I'll just show you what I picked out before um, you see the application. So I picked out the Forever Skin Glow Foundation by Dior. I picked up the Hourglass Veil Translucid Setting Powder, as well as the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder in the shade Iridescent. And I picked up the Too Faced Peach Blur Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder at Marshalls. So next, I am going to get into the makeup looks, so just keep watching. All right, so I'm kind of nervous to try it out. Um, I did swatch it on my cheek at the store and it seemed to be a close color, but then just looking at it in the bottle, like when I opened it, I was like, is this too light? I don't know. So hopefully it oxidizes a little bit darker. But yeah, they didn't have the Dior Backstage Pass, which is what I was going for. Um, SMLXO had it in her favorites and she just loves it. And I was like, okay, that's, she's my go-to girl for like when I really want to try something. And that was her foundation she was like loving and they didn't have it. So I went with the Forever Skin Glow by Dior. So yes, I got it in the shade 2N. So um, let's give it a go and see, see what it looks like. Okay. I did about a pump and a half and I'm just gonna go in with my flat foundation brush. You know, it looks a little light just because I did put some self tanner on yesterday. It has a nice, it, it's fragranced. It has, I don't mind it, it's perfumey. Like it has a nice fragrance to it, but it does 
how the smell, okay, so it looks a little light on my skin. Like it would probably match perfectly if I didn't have any self tanner on. But it is a little lighter, but I think it's gonna oxidize down. So when I went yesterday, I brought all my gift cards from Christmas and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pick out a bunch of new things. And when I got to the till, I only had one gift card. I thought I had more Sephora gift cards. So then I was like, oh, I don't wanna put this back. I want all this stuff. So I kind of spent a little bit more than I wanted to, but it was time for some like fresh new Sephora makeup, not just, I love the drugstore brands, but I just wanted to try out some nicer stuff. So it's actually oxidizing quite nicely to the skin and matching up. Um, is it safe full coverage? I don't know. Let's see, long wear. Flawless coverage. The complexion is even and radiant. Its texture as if it tightened and the skin appears plumped. Hmm. All right. S tr skin true perf perfection. Beautifying pigments adjust to your skin tone. Okay, I can see how that is happening. So I'm really happy about that. Yeah, it totally kind of melted into my skin. So about a medium coverage, I guess you could build it up, but it looks really, really nice so far. Like it looks lighter on camera than it actually is in person. So I just went in with some of the Kylie Jenner Skin Conceal for my concealer today and the foundation has just set so beautifully. I'm so happy, like I'm so nervous about it, but it just looks so healthy. Like my skin looks so glowy. So I'm hoping that it lasts really nicely, but I love the coverage. I love that it's not full, but it just, my skin looks more even and glowy. So I'm gonna go in with my Kim KKW Beauty contour medium I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring today This is the Ambient, uh, no, I don't want to use this right now. <laughs> so I got the Veil Translucent Setting Powder by Hourglass. Um, I've heard really good things about this, so I wanted to try it. So I just got the little travel size or mini size, whatever, just because I feel like this will last me a long time. Um, just when you have so many different brands to try, you're always switching it up. So I just wanted to get the little one to try out. So we'll go in with that, just a little bit under the eye because I did get another uh, setting powder that I will try on my face. So I'm just gonna go underneath And it looks like it's nice and sheer. I don't see um, a heaviness to it at all, which is what you want for your mature aging under eye. So 
Yeah, it's looking really, really nice. So I will check in later on today as well, just to see if it helps with creasing and how, um, how it holds up, how the powder, how the foundation, how it all holds up. So now I'm going to go in with my bronzer and because the other setting powder that I did pick up was the Too Faced Peach Blurs Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Uh, I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil Bronzer to keep with the theme of Too Faced. This, I love the smell of this. It smells like chocolate, like you want to lick it. Um, you can really see the gold in it. It's quite pigmented though, so I really try to just blend it out a lot and use it very sparingly. but I'm absolutely, I'm loving the foundation. I'm so happy. I went with this one. I was looking at the YSL, um, one of theirs, but I'm glad I went with this one. Just because it, it does, it just sets into the skin so beautifully and just oxidize nicely like I was like oh my gosh did I make a huge mistake by getting this shade but so happy it worked out so yeah I'm just gonna really really blending this bronzer in because it's very pigmented and this one I got at I think Marshall's yeah Marshall's for $5.99 and I got the uh, setting powder at Marshall's as well for like $13 so it's fun when you find um, the products you would find at Sephora at Marshall's for a fraction of the cost. Mind you they're probably getting close to being expired but whatever I think most of us keep our makeup a little longer than what it is actually good for anyways. I know I do. I'm going to go in with the Peach Blur. This smells really, really good as well. I was expecting it to be um, not peach colored, but so I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush and just go all over. Oh yeah, it gives like a nice I'm just going to be beaming. I am just going to be glowing once I put <laughs> my new highlighter on as well. Oh, it smells so good. So eye makeup and lips are done. And now I'm going to go in with the highlighter that I got, the Hourglass Ambient uh, Strobe Lighting Powder in Iridescent. And I just, I wanted something that was going to give me that glass-like skin finish. And I feel like Hourglass has, definitely has that reputation for just the soft, um, almost like it's not there, but it's there look to it. So I'm just going to take my fan brush and dip into it. I did swatch it. I did put some on my face yesterday and I fell in love like it just it's there but it's not it doesn't crease into your skin but it just gives you that subtle healthy glow that you want now I feel like that's why I needed some fresh products I was looking at my face and just the dryness from winter and lack of vitamin D like just starting to look haggard like I just wanted to look like a nice healthy summer glow again and it's just so pretty it's so so pretty 
like it's not similar to Max Soft and Gentle. I feel like that one's got a little bit more um, of not glitteriness to it, but doesn't uh, sit on the skin as smoothly as the Hourglass. Like it's just such a flawless finish to it. And I wish I would have got the concealer. I think that is next on my like want purchase is the Hourglass concealer as well. So along with the Too Faced uh, powder, I also picked up this Michael Kors monogram belt. Um, I love that it was in the gray and it's got more of a rubbery feel to it than that like faux leather that's going to start to crack. So I will do a couple looks with this. Um, monogram I feel like is still really big and really in right now and I'm not at the stage in my life where I'm getting the Gucci monogram belt so I wanted to go for something uh, with a similar print and similar look to it and it also has this really cute um, what do you call these grommets I don't know little spikes on it anyways so I will do a couple looks with this belt all right, so this is the first look that I put together. Uh, just my Levi's jeans, a simple um, shirt that I got from Old Navy. I think I got it in the men's section a couple years ago, but just really casual. And the little booties I got from Walmart, and it just really dresses up a simple outfit. Like it just pulls it together a little more, makes it look a little bit dressier, and you still look casual, but I really, really love the detailing on it. I love that it's gray. I feel like it'll look really good gray on gray or with all black or with a white tee. So I will do another look for you guys with the belt. This is the second look that I put together. Just an all black look, some cropped flared pants, a distressed not really distressed, but just a worn in black tee and some black booties. And I just love the way it looks. It just adds a little something to the outfit and just kind of spices it up a bit. So I will check in with you guys with my foundation and rest of the makeup to see how it's holding up a little bit later on in the day. So I'd say it's been about eight, nine hours since I've applied the foundation and it has lasted so nicely throughout the day. Like obviously there's slight creasing here, um, very minimal under my eyes. So the Avail, the Hourglass powder, the translucent powder was so nice and I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I went with it. So highly recommend the Forever Skin Glow by Dior if you want to splurge on a foundation or if that's not splurging for you then just go for it. Sorry my kids are in the background playing Monopoly and obviously it never goes well when you're playing Monopoly. So yeah, this is how the foundation um, lasted throughout the day. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys again soon.